If JFK weren't assassinated before Thanksgiving 1963, everyone in America would be millionaires today. But this has nothing to do with politics, my friend. Instead, it has to do with something that's inside you right this very moment. I'm talking about your spiritual stem cells. And while all yours are sick and useless right now, more on that in a moment, JFK knew a way to create healthy, functional spiritual stem cells, thanks to a secret study by World War II era Japanese scientists. And since he planned to release this information to the American public on Thanksgiving Day 1963, he was assassinated just a few days earlier because the powers that be did not want the information to fall into the public hands. But what I'm about to share with you in this short video today will change everything you thought you knew about attracting wealth and abundance. And in this short video, I will reveal the secret study that confirms what Eastern spiritual leaders have been saying for centuries. That everything you need to attract wealth and abundance on autopilot is inside of you right at this very moment. All you have to do is activate it, which means you get to script the ending of your life story, just like I did. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Justin Mills, and it kind of blows my mind that I'm in the position to make this video for you today. Because the thing is, I'm a normal, average person, just like you. I came from an average middle class family in the Washington DC area. I'm not athletic or particularly intelligent. I've never excelled at any job I had, and my marriage was shaky at best for years on end. And yet, as I sit here today, I'm wealthy beyond my wildest dreams. I'm not quite a billionaire, but let's just say I'll never have to worry about money again in my lifetime. In fact, my kids and their kids won't have to worry about money in their lifetime either. You get the picture. I don't love talking about the fortune I've amassed in such a short time because it's such a change up from what I'm used to. But I feel it's my duty to share this life-changing information with other human beings, just like JFK planned to do before he was assassinated. More on that in a minute. Because look, before I uncovered this secret that I'll share with you in this short video, my life was a mess. Maybe you can relate, and maybe you can't. And it's not like I didn't try. One day, my neighbor Michael told me to watch the movie The Secret which is where I learned about the Law of Attraction. Now, I don't know if you've seen this movie or what your reaction was if you have, but I became obsessed, trying to attract money and abundance into my life just by thinking about it. You probably know the deal, but what I discovered is that not only does the Law of Attraction not work, it actually hinders your ability to attract wealth and abundance. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Thing is, I never would have discovered this if it weren't for me hitting rock bottom in my life which sparked the most incredible, unbelievable journey of a lifetime. It all started when my wife Lucy had a root canal disaster on one of her front teeth. The dentist messed her up pretty bad, so she needed to have the tooth pulled, which meant, of course, that she wanted, no, she needed one of those porcelain fake teeth, which was going to cost me two grand out of pocket, two grand that I didn't have. We were struggling to pay the bills at the time, and I simply didn't have any savings at all. To say that we were literally living paycheck to paycheck would be a generous way to describe our financial situation. I begged my boss for overtime at my construction job, but there was none to be had. When I told Lucy I couldn't afford to replace her missing front tooth, well, let's just say she didn't take it too well. But the kicker was when our six-year-old daughter Jasmine got home from school and said that someone had stolen her snow boots. Obviously, my wife wanted to run out and buy her a new pair since we were supposed to have another snowstorm that week. I checked my bank account on my phone, $2.46. I get paid again on the 15th of the month. I looked at the calendar. It was the 9th of January. And then I had to do the hardest thing I've ever had to do as a grown man. I had to look my wife and daughter in the eye and tell them we couldn't get new boots. Daddy didn't have enough money. Jasmine started crying, asking her mom if her feet were going to freeze off. And Lucy, well, she blew her lid. And rightfully so. What kind of a man can't afford to take care of his family's basic needs? Plus, my beautiful wife was pretty distraught about looking like a toothless hillbilly. But when I told her we couldn't afford to get new snow boots for almost a week, that was the last straw. After giving me an earful, she said she needed some space and asked me to leave. I packed up a few clothes and some toiletries into an old duffel bag I had from high school, and I headed out to my work truck. I figured I'd head to my co-worker Bob's house. But as luck, or the universe, would have it, Bob was out and wouldn't be home for a few hours. And as I was driving, I saw a sign for the Library of Congress. If you don't know already, it's a humongous library here in Washington, D.C., and it's very famous. I don't know why, but I spontaneously decided to kill a few hours there while waiting for Bob to get home. After all, libraries are one of the few free things you can still enjoy these days. But little did I know that that spur-of-the-moment decision would change the course of my entire life. When I got there, I just kind of wandered around a bit in awe of the place. But eventually, I decided to check out the American History section. 
Growing up in D.C., I was a huge history buff, and I figured I could find something to keep my interest there. I grabbed a couple of books and went to sit down in one of the plush leather chairs. That's when I noticed a man at a nearby table getting visibly frustrated with something he was working on. He kept pounding his fist on the table and crumpling up pieces of paper in disgust. I thought it was quite rude to be acting like that in a public library, so I went over and asked what was going on. The man was startled and immediately gathered up all his papers. He also had a half a dozen books on JFK on the table. The man nervously looked around and asked, who sent me? Confused, I told him that no one had sent me. I just wanted him to quiet down. I looked down at his paper and his books and asked what he was so frustrated with, which just agitated the man even more. So I told him to forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. But as I went to walk away, well, I kind of broke down right there. I don't know why, but all the weight of the day just suddenly hit me like a ton of bricks, like my brain had finally processed reality and how crappy of a situation I was in. That's when the man softened up. He told me his name was Reggie and asked me why I was upset. And I spilled my guts right then and there to that stranger in the library. I told him about my financial situation and how I couldn't even afford to provide for my family and everything that happened that day and how my whole life was going down the drain. Reggie's entire demeanor had changed by the time I'd finished pouring my heart out to him. He actually seemed super empathetic at that point. Then he told me that he could relate because his wife took off back to New Jersey with his two sons about six months ago, all because she couldn't handle Reggie's obsession anymore. I glanced down at the stack of JFK books and asked if it had anything to do with that. Reggie looked me in the eye more intensely than anyone has ever in my entire life. And then he said, screw it, I have to tell somebody. Sit down, he said. This is all going to sound a little crazy, but what I'm about to tell you could possibly change the trajectory of our entire lives. Then Reggie launched into an absolutely insane story straight out of a spy novel. You see, his grandfather was in the Secret Service in the 1960s, right when JFK was president, and also when JFK was famously assassinated. Reggie said his grandfather knew a secret from those days, an incredible secret that could turn out to make us both wealthy beyond our wildest dreams. The story goes that JFK met with the Prime Minister of Japan, Hayato Akita, June 21st through June 23rd in 1961. That part is no secret. You can Google it and see the numerous news stories about it right from your phone. But it was there that he learned of a top secret method that would help you attract wealth effortlessly. The Japanese Prime Minister shared this information in confidence that it would stay within the Kennedy family, as they were already a wealthy blue blood family with important ties where the big boys play. You see, the top 1% and our world leaders are a pretty tight-knit group, and they are known to be able to keep secrets safe, especially when it comes to protecting their wealth. But JFK had other ideas. He thought this should be public information. After all, it would serve the greater good for the country if everyone could attract wealth, right? And this was JFK's fatal move, because he made secret plans to give this information to the American public on Thanksgiving Day, 1963. But the bigwigs behind the scenes did not want this information to be made public. They felt it would threaten their stranglehold on the world's wealth. And that's why JFK was assassinated just days before he was set to share this incredible secret with all of America. And long story short, Reggie's uncle, the Secret Service agent, ended up with the classified documents about the secret wealth attraction method JFK was set to share with the country. But Reggie had only discovered them in an old trunk six months ago. Hence, his obsession that his wife left him over. The crazy part is, the contents of the government documents show something extraordinary, that modern science is now proving that Eastern spiritual leaders have been teaching for centuries, that you can attract wealth and abundance into your life once you address this one certain thing. In fact, the power is already inside you right now. You simply have to access the abundance the universe already has in store for you. But there's only one problem. 99.9% .9 of people alive today have lost the ability to access this abundance. And these documents tell us exactly why. You see, the natural order of things is that everything in the universe tends toward disorder. In fact, that's literally what the second law of thermodynamics states. Those things trend from order to disorder over time. Some people like to call it the chaos theory. There's even a whole scene in the movie Jurassic Park dedicated to the chaos theory. But there's a real scientific name for it. Entropy. Entropy is simply how disorder affects all aspects of our lives. Some people like to think of it as nature's tax. And unless you take action, disorder increases over time. And entropy is taking its toll on all mankind right now, even at this very moment while you watch this, which might sound a little alarming at first, but it really makes sense when you think about it. Cars break down over time, even if they're just parked in the garage, not being driven. Gardens become overgrown with weeds if you don't constantly keep them up. 
and obviously our bodies break down and degenerate over time. But it goes much deeper than the surface level entropy you can see with our bodies. Because here's the thing, entropy has invaded modern humans' DNA. In today's modern times, 100% of humans alive are affected by the entropy wrecking their DNA. It starts the second we are born, when we're babies. Our bodies can repair that damage until we reach 18, then it's all downhill from there. It's the reason why getting old sucks. Entropy is destroying your body, and it just gets worse as time goes on. Well, this is exactly what's happening inside your body. Even on a spiritual level, entropy is slowly but surely disrupting our DNA. Except unlike your body, your DNA is never repaired, which is why we can't manifest the abundance the universe has waiting inside each of us. Because by the time you're even old enough to even understand what abundance really is, it's too late. Toss in modern technology, cell phones, constant stimulation, etc., and we don't stand a chance. Plus, if you've ever attempted to employ the law of attraction, you actually have made things even worse. Because trying to force abundance into your life is like throwing gasoline on the entropy fire. The universe never meant for us to sit around trying to attract abundance into our lives. And doing so goes against the natural design of our DNA. Which is why attempting to force abundance into our lives has the opposite effect actually repelling the wealth and abundance the universe has in store for us. But the secret JFK documents prove that modern scientists have figured out a way to reverse the entropy that's disrupting our DNA. You see, a secret Japanese lab was studying this back during World War II, and what they discovered is that we humans actually have spiritual stem cells inside of us. You may have heard about regular stem cells before. They've been the subject of many newscasts over the past decade or so because of the promising medical possibilities they hold. But in case you're not aware, Stem cells are your body's raw materials that can be used to create new cells. And in this case, we're talking about spiritual stem cells. Because here's the thing, our spiritual stem cells can reverse the effect of entropy on our DNA by creating new healthy cells. Some of the original researchers in Japan even dubbed these new healthy cells abundance cells. The crazy thing is, this is what Eastern spiritual leaders from 2000 years ago were talking about when they referred to chakras. But you don't really need to get bogged down by all the different lingo and nicknames out there. You just need to understand one thing. Your spiritual stem cells are dying right alongside everything else because of entropy. But get this, Eastern spiritual leaders have known for centuries that you need to activate our spiritual stem cells with spiritual practices. And thousands of years ago, meditation used to be enough. Before modern civilization and our society accelerated entropy so quickly that meditation won't even work anymore. And while some people will claim they can activate their spiritual stem cells through meditation alone, practically no one outside of a Tibetan monastery can actually achieve this. And even they spend upwards of 10,000 hours practicing meditation. So it's nearly impossible to activate your spiritual stem cells with meditation alone. And here's the wild part. Since meditation clearly isn't an option, the Japanese scientists look for another way to activate our spiritual stem cells. So we can tap into the abundance the universe has inside of us, just waiting to be released into existence which seemed like quite an undertaking, especially in the 1940s. The funny thing is that the answer had been hiding under our noses the whole time. Just consider this famous quote from Nikola Tesla. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. In fact, rumor has it that this exact quote inspired the Japanese scientist's big breakthrough. Because yes, the answer to activating our spiritual stem cells lies in vibrations. And in recent years, science has confirmed that vibrations can, in fact, have a major effect on our physical stem cells, proving that good vibrations can turn stem cells into new healthy cells. Well, guess what? The Japanese scientists discovered that you can do the same thing with our spiritual stem cells, which means we can use the power of good vibrations to activate our spiritual stem cells. But according to these documents, the good vibrations have to be a very specific frequency. And there are two very specific numbers on the original document. So Reggie was guessing one or both of those has something to do with the frequency required to activate our spiritual stem cells. And that's the key to attracting wealth and abundance into your life effortlessly. So again, everything you need is already inside you. You just simply need to activate it. And these classified documents, the ones that got JFK killed, prove that you can do so through the use of good vibrations. Here's the problem though. The documents clearly state the good vibrations have to be used in a very specific way. Otherwise, they won't activate the spiritual stem cells. And that part, the instructions on how to actually use the vibrations, is written in code. So Reggie hadn't been able to figure it out yet, in case that wasn't obvious. It's been his obsession for six months now, and it's the reason his wife left him and took off to New Jersey with his two boys. When Reggie told me the part about the code and how he couldn't crack it, 
It felt like all the air got sucked out of the room. All this just to come to a dead end. And at that point, Reggie said he had to go. But I wasn't going to give up that easily. We agreed to meet again in the same spot that Saturday. So I left the library and headed to my co-worker's house to crash on his couch for the night. But on the way, my mind was racing. There had to be a way to find out what that document said. And if we could just figure it out, we'd be wealthy beyond their wildest dreams. It seemed hopeless at the time, but little did I know that I was about to stumble upon a major breakthrough. And I firmly believe what happened next is no coincidence. Because when I got to my co-worker's house, he was watching the History Channel. No surprise, since he was a huge history buff like me. But the show he had on was about the Navajo code talkers from World War II. And it hit me right then and there. There had to be books on code talkers at the library. Maybe, just maybe, I could pick something up from one of those books. The next day, I got to the library as soon as it opened. I rushed to find some books about the Navajo code talkers. To my surprise, there was a recent release where some of the original code talkers talked about their missions. I grabbed that one and a couple others and went to the table to meet up with Reggie. And that's how we spent the rest of our Saturday, reading through the code talker books and poring over the secret document to see if we could figure out anything. But let's just say it wasn't going so well. Nothing seemed to lead anywhere. Reggie told me that he was about ready to give up because it felt like it was a huge waste of time. And then we struck gold. We noticed a certain pattern in the secret Japanese documents that was consistent with something one of the code breakers mentioned in their book. Now, I won't get into the specifics here because it's a bit complex and isn't really necessary. But when I noticed this very specific pattern, I grabbed a pen and a notepad and started scribbling furiously. And to my surprise, following the one specific code talker pattern actually worked. Next thing I knew, I had instructions on how to use the frequencies. My hands trembled as I read the decoded message, but a clearer picture was starting to form. As it turns out, you have to use sound waves to get these specific vibrations inside you, which makes sense when you think about it. That's probably the most logical way to harness the power of vibrations. After all, sound waves are nothing more than vibrations. And after further research, we realized that centuries ago, music was prescribed as a type of medicine, which suddenly made sense to us at that moment. But we still didn't know why there were two different frequencies. That mystery remained. But since we had a good lead, we were still pretty pumped. Reggie knew a sound engineer from college, and we asked him to whip up some audio tracks to match these exact sacred frequencies. That was the easy part, because a day later, we had our audio tracks. And man, was I pumped. I'm pretty sure I was skipping when I went to meet up with Reggie that day. He had the audio tracks downloaded on his laptop, and we were ready to get started. We agreed to experiment, listening to the audio frequencies over the next week. But nothing happened. In fact, I got a letter from the IRS saying I owed money from last year's taxes. And Reggie got food poisoning, which cost him a $3,000 trip to the ER. So it seemed like the opposite was actually happening. And I'll be honest, I almost gave up at that point. I just felt angry and let down. It started to feel like I was chasing a ghost and that I would never figure out how to activate my spiritual stem cells because at that point, I figured the whole thing was BS. So I met up with Reggie at a park by the river the next day. I was ready to call the whole thing off. I needed to focus on getting my wife and my daughter back and this isn't helping the matter. So when we got there, we started chatting about what we'd already tried to see if we were missing something. We tried listening to the audios separately. We tried listening to them at the same time on two different Bluetooth speakers. We didn't know what else to try. And then, as I was gazing at the river, something hit me. A boat drove past and I noticed the oil residue left in its path. I watched the weird way the oil refused to mix with the water because, well, oil and water don't mix. Everybody knows this. They always stay separate, no matter what you do to try to mix them together. And that's what we needed to do with the two audio frequencies. Rather than just keep blending them together by playing them on two different Bluetooth speakers, what if we isolated the two different frequencies in each ear? One frequency in each ear, using headphones or earbuds. I spun around and told Reggie about my idea. He didn't seem too thrilled, but said it was worth a shot. So we tried this method out for five minutes a day, every single day. And, well, Reggie changed his tune pretty quickly, because suddenly everything changed. Fast forward to a few months later, and you'll get an idea as to why. Reggie found a $100 bill one day while walking into a 7-Eleven convenience store. Figuring he's riding his good luck, he bought a $20 scratch-off lotto ticket. And he hit $250,000 on the first one. After that, he tried his luck even further and put it into one particular stock, all based on a random conversation he overheard on the subway. Well, the stock went up 734% almost overnight. Reggie promptly sold the stock a week later and is now a literal millionaire. So it's safe to say his spiritual stem cells are activated. As for me, well, things couldn't have been better. 
A few days after I started using the Good Vibes, I received a certified letter in the mail. Turns out my biological mother had just passed away. I was adopted. I'd never even met the woman, so I was surprised to receive the letter. So when I realized the letter was informing me that she'd left me $444,000 in inheritance, I practically fell on the floor. The first thing I did was quit my construction job. Then I used that money to buy my wife Lucy the tooth she needed and started my own construction business with the rest. And just a few months later, I was bringing in a quarter million dollars a month in passive income. I bought a historic brick row home in town, the kind Lucy always wanted to live in. And I convinced her to move in with me and give marriage a second chance. But the best part was how happy it made our daughter Jasmine, which is really what makes everything perfect. So yeah, I think it's safe to say I'd also activated my spiritual stem cells, which brought about the next question. What do we do with this information? Obviously, there are people out there who do not want this to get out to the public. I mean, JFK was assassinated for wanting to make this public for Americans, but it seemed far too powerful to keep to ourselves. And after a few months, we started to feel guilty about it. So, when my brother got laid off from the tech firm he was working at, we gave him the good vibes to see if he could activate his spiritual stem cells like we did. Well, long story short, right after my brother started using the good vibes, he randomly met an angel investor at an airport bar and created his own tech startup, which is now worth almost $100 million. After that, we tried it with a number of our other family and friends. And each time, we'd witness the trajectory of their lives change right when they started using these good vibes. It was easy to get people to try it because it's literally effortless to do. All we asked them to do was sit and listen to these frequencies for five minutes a day. And eventually we knew we had to get this out into the world. So I'm thrilled to introduce you to the Good Vibes Manifestation. It's the only audio track, besides the original that the top 1% have locked away, that's proven to activate your spiritual stem cells. And the best part is that it does so effortlessly. There's literally nothing else like it on the planet. While everyone else is out chasing money, talking about hustling and grinding 12 to 16 hours a day, you can just pop in a set of headphones for five minutes a day and let it flow to you the way the universe intended. All by activating the powerful tools that are already inside you. Now, just take a minute to think about all the ways people try to become wealthy. Winning the lottery, good luck with that right now. Coming up with a genius invention. Not how you get rich anyway. Investing in hot new trends they don't fully understand. Spending $90,000 to get a college degree just so they can move up one rung up the corporate ladder of misery. Working another job just to end up broken and burnt out. Starting a side hustle that never goes anywhere and ends up costing you money. But I don't want you to have to go through any of that, which is why I'm so excited to share the Good Vibes manifestation with you today. Because the universe never meant for you to live your life on a financial hamster wheel. Working your life away for some ungrateful boss because you have to support yourself and your family. And I know how it's practically impossible to get ahead, no matter how hard you work anyway. Something always comes up that keeps you broke, which is why you're barely keeping your head above water at any given moment. It's not your fault, though. Our system was designed in this way by those in power. But now that you know about the spiritual stem cells that are already inside you right at this very moment, you can join the thousands of other people who use the Good Vibes Manifestation to completely transform their lives. Like Andrew from Baltimore, Maryland, who says, I always thought the key to an abundant life is always inside each of us. But it wasn't until I discovered Good Vibes Manifestation that I realized exactly how to access this abundance. All I can say is that I wish this had been made public sooner. Or Joanne from Chester, Pennsylvania. I'll be honest, I was super skeptical when a friend sent me the secret video about Good Vibes Manifestation. But let's just say this, a year ago, I lived in a trailer park outside of Philadelphia. And as I write this, I'm watching the sunset from my beachside home in Malibu. So glad I listened to the universe and gave this a shot. And we love Rachel's story from Spokane, Washington. As a single mother of three young kids, I gave up on the idea of having a better life. Everything just felt so hopeless, and I could never get ahead no matter how hard I tried. But then I got a strange email one day talking about Good Vibes Manifestation, and I felt like it was no coincidence that I received that email. Let's just say that following my intuition and activating my spiritual stem cells changed everything for me because being a single mom is a lot easier when you're a millionaire. Okay, so right now you're probably thinking, sounds great, but how exactly do I use the Good Vibes Manifestation? And I love answering this question because it's so simple. Here's what you do. Get up in the morning, sit down with a cup of coffee, tea, or whatever you have in the morning, pop a pair of headphones or earbuds into your ears, and press play on your smartphone or computer. Listen to the two different frequencies at the same time for five minutes. 
We've already programmed all of this for you. And then do whatever you feel like the rest of the day. It's really that easy. From there, you simply let your spiritual stem cells do their thing. Soon, you'll start to see money, wealth, and abundance flow into your life. Just like it did for me, Reggie, and our friends and family, and the thousands of people who've tested the Good Vibes manifestation since then. But I need to warn you about something right now. Truth is, I don't know how much longer this webpage is going to be up. I'm telling you this because this is the only place you can get the Good Vibes manifestation. Here's the problem. The same people who went so far as to assassinate JFK over keeping this secret are not happy about this being leaked. After all, this was supposed to be a secret that the elites kept to themselves. Because the one percenter people are afraid that if everyone activates their spiritual stem cells, that they won't be able to keep a stranglehold on the world's wealth. And, as we now know, these people didn't end up owning 99% of the world's wealth by accident. So, they definitely don't want the public to know about this. I can tell you this from experience because they've tried shutting down this website numerous times already. And unfortunately, they've been successful a few times already. So, the truth is, I don't know if I'll be able to get it back up next time. So, if you even think you want the Good Vibes Manifestation, and who wouldn't, I urge you not to close out of this page until you've secured your copy of Good Vibes Manifestation. And let me address something right now. This is not about me. I already have all the money I'll ever need. I could easily disappear to a deserted island somewhere and live out the rest of my days in luxury. But I feel like I owe it to the human race to expose the truth. There's no reason why people need to suffer now that we know about this incredible power that each of us has inside just waiting to be used. Look, I remember struggling just to make ends meet, but I believe everyone should be able to activate their spiritual stem cells so that no human being has to struggle just to get by. Which is why I'm not going to ask you to break the bank just to get your copy of Good Vibes Manifestation. Because we both know what I could charge for this life-altering discovery. And, in fact, numerous people have told me that I should charge upwards of $15,000 for these tracks. But I'm not in this for the money. My mission is to get this out to as many people as possible before they finally shut down this website for good. And charging a hefty fee like that would eliminate most of the folks I want to help. So I won't ask you to invest anywhere near $15,000 today. Heck, I wouldn't even ask you to pay half that. In fact, I'm not even interested in making a profit on this. All I ask is that you cover the expenses it takes to create these tracks and run this website, which means I'm only asking you to pitch in $37 today. Now, I know that probably seems a little hard to believe that you could really get this life-changing audio for less than what you'd spend on coffee this week. But remember what my goal is here, to get this out to as many people as I can. So yes, this is 100% real. All you have to do is click the button that just appeared below this video. Once you've hit that button, you'll be taken to our 100% safe and secure checkout page where you'll enter your order information and credit card number. And as soon as you hit submit, your digital audio track will be emailed to you in about 5 to 10 minutes, which means you save another $12.99 since there's no shipping. And you don't have to wait for a physical package to be mailed to your home. But that's not all you'll get when you place your order today because I've decided to throw in a few free gifts when you place your order for Good Vibes Manifestation today. Just consider these bonuses for taking action today. Free bonus number one, instant mood change. This audio track uses the sounds of nature to instantly change your mood. It's helpful because a lot of folks get so anxious about activating their spiritual stem cells that it makes them miserable until they are filthy rich. The kicker is, the calmer you are, the faster your spiritual stem cells will activate. That's why I'm giving you this bonus free so you can accelerate the process. Free bonus number two, the Alpha Track. This marvel of audio engineering puts your brain into an alpha state. Listening to this for just a few minutes will induce feelings of calm, increase creativity, and enhance your ability to absorb new information. This will prepare your mind to better take on the role it will be playing once your spiritual stem cells are activated. Bonus number three, the Miracle Tone. Delta brainwaves are a low frequency and most often occur while you're sleeping, relaxing, or deeply meditating. When you enter a delta state, you are at rest or deeply asleep, which is exactly what the Miracle Tone does for you automatically. The reason I'm giving you this bonus is because some folks have told me that they suffered from severe insomnia while waiting for their spiritual stem cells to be activated. This track should be used differently than the Instant Mood Change track, bonus number one, because you only want to throw this track on when you don't have to drive or operate heavy machinery. It's that powerful. Okay, those three bonuses, a total of a $319 value, are yours free when you get Good Vibes Manifestation today. Oh, and one more thing I want to mention. When you place your order from this website, you're backed by our 365-day, 100% money-back guarantee. Here's how it works. Simply click the button that's below this video you're watching right now and place your order for Good Vibes Manifestation. Once you download the audio tracks to your cell phone or computer, 
I want you to listen to the tracks every morning for five minutes straight, and I want you to do this for the next five weeks in a row. If you do this, there is no doubt in my mind that you will start seeing abundance appear in your life. Now, the abundance comes differently for every person, based on your own body cells. I don't know exactly what it will look like for you, but I promise you'll know when you see it. So, if you want to join the ranks of people building real wealth, I urge you to download your copy of Good Vibes Manifestation today. And I know that your life will be infinitely better because you took action right now. But if for any reason that turns out not to be the case, and you're not completely satisfied with your life after activating your spiritual stem cells, simply shoot us an email or pick up the phone and give us a call, and we'll refund you every penny on the spot, no questions asked. Which means when you click the button below this video to place your order today, you're basically just signing up to take the Good Vibes Manifestation on a test drive. And you've got an entire year to experience what life can be like once you've activated your spiritual stem cells. I've decided to shoulder all the responsibility here so that I can help as many people as possible while this webpage is still up, which probably won't be long. So click the button below this video and place your order with zero risk to you because you're backed by our one year 100% money back guarantee. I made this so that it would be a no brainer decision for you today. After all, what have you got to lose? Look, you are now at a crossroads and you have a choice to make. You can ignore everything you've heard today and continue living life the way you have been working harder and harder without ever seeing any results, while barely scraping by and never getting off that financial hamster wheel. And if that's the route you want to take, then that's on you. But you now know that it doesn't have to be this way. Plus, I think you and I both know that you landed on this page for a reason today. So knowing what you know now, why wouldn't you try the other path, the one filled with wealth and abundance? Because we both know that you're going to get the same results until you try something new. And I think the fact that you're even here today is a clear sign that you are open to trying something new. And that something is the Good Vibes Manifestation Program that I told you about in this video. Now I know you've probably heard the saying, money can't buy happiness, but define happiness for me. Happiness is being comfortable, being content with your surroundings, and spending time with people who matter. So I feel like money can buy happiness, at least to an extent. After all, imagine what you could do if money wasn't your focus all the time. If you'd like to discover what this kind of life feels like, click the button under this video and try it for yourself, 100% risk-free for the next year. Still here, I see. I don't blame you. We covered a lot in today's video, and I know you might have some questions. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the most commonly asked questions that we get about the Good Vibes Manifestation. Question. I've tried other wealth attraction programs based on the Law of Attraction. They didn't work. What makes this one any different? Answer. This is not based on the law of attraction. In fact, this is the exact opposite of the law of attraction. This is a scientifically proven method that literally uses the cells that are already inside you right now. And in the end, science is just proving what Eastern spiritual leaders have known for years. Question, how is my personal information protected? Answer, we hired some of the best encryption experts on the planet to protect your information. Most of them have day jobs at the NSA and they use 256 bit encryption technologies using Secure Sockets Layer or SSL which means your info is 100% secure, backed by the best technology available today. Question, how does the guarantee work? Answer, when you say yes to Good Vibes Manifestation today, you are doing so 100% risk-free because I'm giving you an entire year to decide if you're happy with your results or not. If at any time in the next 365 days, you feel that your life has not improved drastically, simply email or telephone my support team and we'll refund 100% of your investment on the spot. Question, how soon should I expect results? Answer, well, every person is different, so the answer isn't the same for everybody. Some have experienced massive results as soon as the first day. Others have taken months to activate their spiritual stem cells. I recommend using it every day for a full month before getting too worried about it. 